What's up guys and welcome to the Porcupine Theater 100th Video Spectacular. Now, if you're wondering what that means, a couple weeks ago I made a video called Ask Porcupine Theater and told you that for my 100th video I was going to answer these questions for you. Now, I didn't just post this on YouTube, they were on three other sites as well, epicwebs.com, wouldyouhitthis.com, and www.com. So I got a wide array of questions from all four of these sites, so let's get right into it. Question number one, and these first ones are going to come from YouTube because it was what the thread was initially for. First one is from Led Rock and Stud, who asks, Are you secure enough in your sexuality to tongue kiss another man? Um, no. Uh, <laughs> nothing against gays, nothing against people who may want to see that with me, but maybe you, buddy, but uh, no, I'm bland. Uh, definitely not. Question number two comes from Menorrhea. Interesting name. Kind of a nice tape, take on men and diarrhea. Why did Malcolm Reynolds win as a more favorable Starship captain in a recent online poll? He even beat out Kirk, Picard, and Han Solo. I don't know. I, I don't know why. Uh, personally, I'm a, uh, a John Luke Picard fan myself. That would have probably been my top pick, but people are idiots. People uh, sometimes just I don't know. Uh, question three. Delinquents Wrestling. What is your favorite Megadeth song, he asks. And uh, this is because I was wearing a Megadeth shirt in the Ask Porcupine Theater video. And my favorite song is actually not from the shirt that I had on, which was for Countdown to Extinction. It's from an album prior to it called So Far, So Good, So What. Um, it's called In My Darkest Hour. It's a great song. It's uh, brutally tragic, but also at the same time very powerful, very thrashy. It's an awesome song. If you don't know who Megadeth is and have not... Uh, ever heard the song? Check it out. Uh, Weezing101 asks, Who are your favorite professional wrestler? Who is your favorite? Man, I can't read. And who's your least favorite? And it can be any wrestler from any time in history. Uh, I'm actually going to go with two people who are still around, actually, because both of them really fit the bill. My favorite is easily Chris Jericho. He's probably the only wrestler that I know right now who can do both the face and heel gimmick with absolute flawless precision. He's got a very, very great in-ring talent. He's very smart in the ring. He's very aware of his surroundings. I call it a sixth sense for him. It's the wrestler's sixth sense. And he's got just such an impressive vocabulary that he can make himself as a heel just sound absolutely above and beyond the uh, mental capacity of the crowd. And I think that that's very, very important for a heel to do. Uh, my least favorite is definitely Batista. Batista is awful. He's old, he's botched so many moves and the like that it's absolutely unreal. His promo skills are abominable, and he has no business really being in the main event title chase in my opinion. He should be suffering the same fate as Vladimir Kozlov right now. He should be either future endeavored or on a lesser show. He has no right being on Raw, and he had no right going after the title of Judgment Day. Cover Killer asks, which do you like more, the angry video game nerd or the irate gamer? Uh, this is easy, actually. I love Chris Barnes and the uh, uh, irate gamer, but the AVGN is absolutely the king for me, and I, I really l like emulating his style. I really like giving it a try, and he has really helped me into wanting to be more of a filmmaker right now because the way that he uses his style and the way that he's able to make things and improve over time is just a great inspiration. Uh, the final question here on YouTube uh, was from Angel Baby Cakes for you and she asks, would you hit this? And the question is, you better believe it because I know who you are, I know what you look like, and you're hot. So definitely. Well, let's uh, transition over to epicwebs.com which I apparently have to log in to see. Whoopsies. And you thought that this wasn't going to be without outtakes. You know what, while that's doing... Uh, yeah, while that's doing that, let's go to wouldyouhitthis.com. Uh, Mystify asks, what is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Uh, love is what happens whenever you get absolutely obsessed with somebody of the opposite or same gender and start to act retarded. Okay. Next is from Trendy Skank, who I actually made a video for. She asks, why is it that if a girl sees someone prettier than them, they can't just say that the girl is pretty, they have to find something ugly about them and go off on that one subject? Hi, Mark. Uh, I think it's definitely a big insecurity issue. 
I think that girls have to, especially girls, uh, aside from boys, really have to find themselves to be more favorable, more desirable, more of what a guy would want than other girls. It's kind of like a survival of the fittest, very Darwinistic type of scenario. I don't understand why that they do it sometimes, because a lot of times it's very, very acceptable and even complimentary to compare two girls and say that they both are very beautiful and both have very redeeming qualities. However, people don't see it that way because they always want to be on top. Their, their ego really suggests that they want to be on top. Uh, let's see. The next one, there's a lot of conversation here. Uh, who is the best looking guy on Would You Hit This? Uh, this is from Nightfall. Me. The end. Uh, <laughs> I think we have one more over here on Would You Hit This? There's a lot of conversation during this one. Oh, Comrade Rock, when the fuck are we playing Marvel Ultimate Alliance, you fucking non-Xbox player? Uh, just let me know, actually. Um, I got a lot of free time coming up, and aside from making videos and doing all this junk, I would really like to get back into the game. I beat the game last year around this time, and I think that if I were to start playing it again with you and we would converse on XBL, we would probably get through it pretty quick. Uh, Gymnast for Life asks, when was the last time you cried? Good question. Uh, the last time I cried actually was in early April, and it was not because I was sad, actually. It was because I was in Hagerstown, Maryland, and I was drinking a lot, very heavily, and I was just a little bit discouraged because that particular place seemed more like home than my home here in Uniontown, PA. The people out there are a lot better. I, I just feel more comfortable out there, and it just caused me to really be kind of satisfied with the way that things were whenever I was out there, and I definitely am planning on making a move sometime soon. <laughs> Kitten Princess just asks why, and my reply to that is because. Gymnast for Life asks a second question, what is your passion? Music. Music is definitely passion number one. There is wrestling there as well, but music definitely takes the cake. Sports is probably second or a distant, or a not so distant third. It's a very difficult hierarchy. Uh, IRKO27 on WWE Universe. The only question I got over there asks, what's the meaning of life? Uh, the meaning of life is to ask me what the meaning of life is, because even though I pretend like I know, I really don't know. So the fact is, is that the meaning of life is that there is no meaning because I don't know the meaning of life, and you don't know the meaning of life, so that's why you have to ask me about the meaning of life. Did you catch all that? I hope you did, because I'm not going to repeat it, because I don't know how to. Ah, la, 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 okay, and the Epic Webs thread is missing. What the hell is going on here? This is ridiculous, because I know there was a couple of questions over there. Do, do, do. Okay, here we go. Here we go, once the damn thing loads. All right, Merciless Death has a couple of questions. Do you like fish sticks? Not as much as I like actual fish. Are you playing the game? If so, when was the last time you lost it? Um, long time ago is the last time I lost it, because Triple H is injured right now, thank God. Also, what do you do in your free time besides making cool videos? Uh, I watch sports, I watch wrestling, I listen to a lot of music, I like to be outdoors, I like driving around, and I like hanging out with people. I'm very social on the outside. Uh, let's see. Next up. Uh, if you got hit in the head with a marshmallow going 200 miles per hour, would you die? This is from Going Nowhere Slow. And I'm going to actually say, yeah, no. Yeah, no. It's a new word. Uh, however, you would be very sticky. And I'm not sure if that's good or not, if or not but whatever. Uh, Bastard1 says the video of Eminem 3AM, what the fuck? I don't know. Superstar asks, why are you so gay? And my answer to that is, I guess I'm just a really happy camper. I really enjoy being happy, and being happy is awesome. If you meant the whole homosexual thing, I'm not. That was it. Uh, a lot of different questions, a lot of variety. I definitely enjoyed it. Nobody asked me about my sex life. That's kind of odd, especially for the sites that I was on. But anyways, to everybody who has been here in the Porcupine Theater realm, the, the theater of the sun... Thank you very much for watching my videos. 100 strong, next 100 coming up, and a lot of surprises. Take care, guys, and thanks again.